I'm using the CLI a lot. The following is my most frequent commands. I'm not going to show you a granular commands that are used to debug VPNs or to uh, change the severity of logs. I'm going to show you what I use in everyday scenario. So let's start. The following commands are not listed in a specific order. They're just my most frequent commands. So the very first command that I always uh, use is the diaxis stop. That helps me to see which processes are actually running on my FOIA gate. That's a good indication uh, when you're having issues with resources that a specific daemon, a specific process um, is using too much memory or consumes too much CPU resources. The second command is the Diag sniffer packet. Now, the Diag sniffer packet will actually let you uh, packet capture the traffic on your FortiGate. You can do it in different verbosity levels. Uh, that's very similar to TCP dump. You can also do it using the graphic user interface. It has the different parameters that you can enter in the command itself. But let's just use the Diag sniffer packet any, that is, uh, uh, sniff any packet on any interface and doing so we will actually see the different packets that are being sent by different sources. Alright, now the third command is the one, it's one of my best, actually there are two commands. The first one is the get system, get system session list. And here we can see the different sessions that are happening on your FortiGate from different sources, either being netted or not. And the second one, if you want to be much more specific, is the Diaxis session list. Now, this will list all this session and it will give you the state of the session either made dirty or dirty, which protocol is being used, what is the state of the protocol, the session serial, and so on. Is it using traffic shaping? Now, for that, we will actually uh, use the filter option. So you will use the diaxis session filter. And from here, you can choose different filters. This, let's just use the, uh, the source filter and you can enter the specific device, specific IP address that you want to see the sessions. All right, so let's just, uh, currently my device is offline, so you won't see any, um, any sessions happening from the 10.0.5.7. The next command is the Diag user device list. Now, this will list all the devices that are connected or uh, that you see traffic that is coming from different interfaces. You can see either the MAC address, uh, uh, you can see the vendor such as Apple, and you can see the, um, the device detection algorithm, either using the MAC address or using other methods such as DHCP or ARP or any other method that FortiGate supports. You can also use it to see users that are using the proxy. So if you use the DAG web uh, stats, you will see the different sessions, but if you use the DAG user device, then you will see the different proxy uh, users that are actually using a proxy if you've enabled it in one of your interfaces. All right, another command is the show system interface. Now, if you press the uh, question mark, you will see all the interfaces. You can also see specific information on specific port. So let's just get out of this one. All right, show system interface. Now let's use port one, for example, and there you can see the port configuration. If you wanna be much more specific, then you can use the Diag hardware. Device info NIC, and then the port of choice, in 
our case it's port 1. Here you will see the MAC address of that interface, you will see the number of packets that are being sent, the number of packets that are being uh, dropped, the state of the interface, the state of the, li the link, the size of the MTU. In most cases it will be 1500 bytes, but there are specific cases that you will want to make it bigger. All right. The next thing is the get system ARP that is uh, used to see who is actually connected. This is great to see devices that are connected to the different interfaces. And the last command that we will look at is the execute ping options where you can actually adjust the um, ping command that will be sent towards different destinations in terms of size, in terms of interval between each ping, in terms of count, how many packets are to be sent. In terms of source, you can actually send from a specific interface to a specific destination. So you're not only limited to the WAN interface that you're using.